Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Lex here, bringing you another episode of Guild Wars. Uh, actually accompanied here today with my girlfriend playing a Mesmir. I am on here as a ranger with my wolf cub here. Figured we could kill two birds with one stone with this video. So we're going to go ahead and go through hey, the introductory here. mission here to kind of get an idea of how this works. If you guys enjoy it, please uh, comment Hail, down below. Hero. Are you here to take part in this year's great hunt? Of course I am. Just tell me what needs to be done and stand clear. Hunt down the wildest animals you can find and take trophies from your kills. Present only the finest to Ido the Tanner to prove your worth. Whoever has the best trophy and whose bravery is the greatest will be invited to join the great hunt. Newt Whitebear has said this scene's event will be one of the most dangerous, so be ready. I've even heard the renowned Air Stigulkin might attend. I look forward to impressing them both after I've earned my place in the hunt. Alright, so that's the first mission here. I did go ahead and do some maintenance beforehand, so I do have a couple of things. That we're going to go ahead and take advantage of real quick. And of course, what's a ranger without a two-handed bow? Unfortunately, the girlfriend here does not have a mic. She is Rowan Hyperion right here. And we're going to go ahead and start. So basically up here it says we are to basically hunt and collect trophies from various creatures. Usually that means there's going to be one big hunk and one standing around that we have to really kill in the end. While we're just taking care of that, I did see comments about our Minecraft feed we had going on before. I, I did find the videos. We're just getting them fin finalized so we can get them up there on YouTube for you guys. So just bear with us a little bit. Looks like a lot of people are on here right now. Not a whole lot to shoot. Oh, there's a Moa bird. And I do appreciate you guys watching the char videos as well and giving us the uh, views and the likes on it. Kind of gave me some confidence to go ahead and hop on this one here. If you guys see other ones you want to see, of course, just let me know and I'll see if I can get some video of them. I think she spotted something, so we're going to head that way. There's a big guy. Oh, and it's got a green star, so it looks like that's our kill. Out of range. Now, to be honest, I have played a little bit of the Ranger in the past here. I did like the class, but didn't like the... Uh, the starting area I was in, I was playing, I believe it was a Silfari or one of the plant races. I just wasn't a fan of it. But I do kind of recommend this bow here. They seem to have a much longer range than other classes. Uh, I've gone up against one with my engineer in the world PvP and they just outranged me completely. So it looks like we just need to go and present the idol here. So all we're doing right now is just basically killing some creatures to get our skills up here. So that should make our life easier when we go on to the next parts. In case you're wondering, we're just looking here at our mini-map to kind of see where we need to head off to. Hail Hunter, I'm the local leather worker. Ido's the name. Show me your kills, and I'll make them into trophies you'll be proud to show at the moot. Breaking, singing, and boasting. I love a good old-fashioned moot. 
Others save their parties for holidays, but I say every day alive's worth celebrating. Hey, Newt, look at this impressive trophy. Worthy of the great hunt, I'd say. Indeed. You are skilled enough to defeat your prey, and wise enough to revere their spirits. You are worthy to join in this year's great hunt. By my own hand, I have brought the mighty worm as Sormir. He waits above in the plateau for one such as you to challenge him. The great heir Stegalkin watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. When it is time, you and the others will go to the high ground, over the valley. There you will face his army. Claim victory, if you can. I can, and I will. This is where my legend begins. Alright, so we gotta go kill some more things. Hurrah! And she's not wasting any time. Looks like the fight started. We need to get up there quickly. Alright, and if you notice, there is an orange circle here on the mini-map. Usually that does indicate some sort of event that's going on. Events are not like, wow, well, you don't have to worry about being the first one to hit. It's more like the way Rifts was doing it, where it's more con contributive. So the more you do on it, the better stats you get in the end, and the more prizes you'll see up here with these medals that we get. Apparently Moa birds are a challenge in this This is the medal I was talking about for the events here. You get some experience, some karma points which you can use towards items and uh, things of that nature, and of course some coins. Alright, looks like we're all heading up here. It's going to be quite a large group to get out of this area. Here she is waiting on me. Oh, that was the wolf shaman. Battle with the strength of bear. Bear shaman, which was invisible. Okay. 
person here is winding up, you can always dodge if you have energy. It's kind of like that. All that is is double click on your movement key. What a hunt! I heard about your victory. Very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. It was a hard-fought hard battle, and I'm proud of my part in it. An excellent beginning, An excellent beginning to your legend, friend. You know, a lot of folks around here have problems that need solving. A slayer like you could be a big help. Putting your skills to work, sharpens them, and helping others wouldn't hurt your reputation either. Think of the glory. I will seek out these problems and solve them. Then we, shall see. then we shall see how my legend grows. Alright, that was the first mission here. And of course we're on the overflow server. Let's see. I think I'll take one of those. Now it's time to move on. Woohoo, level two. And I don't see her. Yeah, that is one thing about this game that gets a little annoying. You may be on one server, but your friend's on another until the queue opens up so you can get in there. So you may see that screen pop up from time to time where I either say re-enter queue or travel. just kind of depends on the situation. This valley is a sacred but dangerous place. Visit the shrines to the spirits of the wild. You'll be tested by both our enemies and the spirits themselves. And look out for extraordinary chances to prove your courage. You honor us all by acting without being called. There's much ground for you to cover, but you can speed your travels by finding the Asuran waypoints. You may have to pay a small fee to return to them faster than the Ravenflies. Still not impressed? Perhaps you're cunning enough to seek out the many hidden challenges of Tyria. They'll test your might and improve your skills. Alright, that's pretty much how the map works there. If you look back here, he was kind of circling these hard things. Those are quest areas you can go to. Like this one here talks about uh, getting the raven eggs or even solving some riddles for it. Uh, you've got these little points of interest here. They're usually by these triangles and you'll know when you get one because it'll be filled in. You've also got these points of interest where you just kind of walk over there and it just kind of goes ding and gives you experience. And of course you've got skill areas here where you can go in and actually earn skill points. Skill points you can find under here where you can actually unlock different abilities. Just like these here. Alright, so that's just kind of the first area. Uh, oh, there she is right there. I guess we caught up. Alright, so now we gotta go kind of help somebody real quick. One thing I do recommend to people when they first get here, if they happen to have any cash, which we have uh, 72 copper here, Good hunting. Right. we want to talk to the merchant here, you usually want to go ahead and pick some of these up. That way in your travels you'll be able to go ahead and harvest things without any worries. Go ahead and grab some of these here. And now I'm broke. That's okay. We'll make money back pretty quickly. You are a welcome guest. We'll equip our new bag. And just because I'm more of a completionist here, I'm going to go ahead and equip our new gear here. Check on her as well.
she's got to go get a quest real quick, so we'll just kind of give her a second here. Just kind of do some inventory management here. This guy would, or girl here, would be one of our trading posts. Doesn't necessarily work right now, as you can see, but once it is up, it's going to be like the auction house. This one here is someone you'd pay to fix your stuff. Why you can't fix it yourself, I don't know. You must visit more often. This is kind of a handy button. Your trophies that you get that you can't do anything with, just kind of hit sell junk, and you make some money. You are a welcome, you are a welcome guest. Looks like she's ready. So we'll go ahead and we'll start our next quest here. Now you may see me from time to time just stop and start killing things. It's just mainly to get these skills up. see there real quick. I picked up a coat. Cool, I'm gonna equip it. Well, I guess I'm not cold anymore. Alright, as you can see it's part of the quest here. Destroying the nest. Let's go solve some riddles while she's working on that. 